So we're going to be talking about Docker layer caching on CircleCI 2.0. This is a premium feature that we offer. This is really great if you are building images on CircleCI. It's a pain if you have to rebuild your images every single time, especially if nothing has changed. You can use Docker layer caching to cache the layers of images that you've built and then to reuse those layers instead of building the image again every single time. So I have a very simple configuration file here where I'm building a Docker image. And you can see that I've added an option called Docker layer caching. So let's take a look at what happens when we build Docker images while Docker layer caching is enabled. So I have three jobs here. We have this first job where we're running our Docker build and you can see that it runs in two minutes and 45 seconds. And if we open it up, we can see that it's pulling the image down from Docker Hub and it's running all of the steps that we have in our Docker file to build the image. So now that we have Docker layer caching enabled and we've built the image, let's go ahead and rebuild this same job. If we take a look at it, this is the exact same job. All we did was run rebuild, zero seconds. It was instant. That is amazing. So what happened here is that none of the layers in our image changed. It pulled the layers from cache from the image that we built previously, and it reused that rather than rebuilding the entire image. Now let's take a look at an example if we change part of our Docker file, which means that we're changing part of the image. We have a another build here where we're running the exact same thing, except that we have slightly modified the Docker file. And you can see that it is run in a minute and 32 seconds. So it's still a whole minute faster than rebuilding the entire image. Why did this happen? Well, if we scroll down a bit, we can see that for the first few steps in our Docker file, it was able to reuse the cache. But when we come down here, it had to rerun the entire step. And that happened because I removed a step from the Docker file. So if you change something into Docker file, all of the steps after that will be completely invalidated. And so the layers that were created after that step that was changed are now invalidated. And so they need to be completely rebuilt. But since some of the steps before that change layer or that change step still exist, we can reuse those. And so it still speeds up the build by a whole minute, which is pretty good. So enabling Docker layer caching for your project makes it so that images that you build are cached and when you try to build those images we'll find the layers that already exist and we'll reuse those layers to make your builds even faster if you enjoyed this video please do encourage us by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel so that you can get updates for more cool videos about circle ci if you want to have a chat you can jump on over to the discuss forum at discuss.circleci.com and that's it thanks for watching